most beautiful place we're going to have a bill signing um, this this month. Um, we're here at New Mexico's gym, Hyde, Hyde Memorial State Park. The park has a fitting name because Benjamin Tablet Hyde was an educator, a scientist, and a naturalist who was known by the Boy Scout troop he led for his extravagant love of the outdoors. There is no shortage of outdoor places in New Mexico. National parks and monuments, wilderness areas, BLM waterways, game preserves, tribal lakes, and ski areas. For me, my favorite trip every year is to go down to Bosque del Apache in November. For Senator Steinborn and Representative Small and Rubio, it is their passion for the Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks area, as well as the abundant bike trails and open spaces in and around Las Cruces that led them to sponsor this amazing legislation. For Senator Neville and Representative Johnson, it is the recreation area around McKinley and San Juan County for Navajo Lake and the world famous San Juan River. I thank them all for their support of this legislation. In New Mexico, yeah, people can clap on that one. <laughs> this is going to be informal because we're outside in the mountains. We all uh, dressed our mountain chic. Um, in New Mexico, 65% <laughs> of residents participate in outdoor activities annually. There are 160,000 anglers who fish in the state and, uh, and 87,000 hunters. And we know a larger percentage of tourists come to New Mexico from elsewhere specifically for outdoor activities. Travelers have been coming to New Mexico for its outdoor spaces for generations, and businesses have followed. And that is what this effort is all about. It is about collaboration. Economic development will not succeed without an all-in effort from so many others. Many of you here today will take part in that. I'd like to thank Cabinet Secretary Sarah Cottrell Prost Prost and her staff for hosting us at this beautiful location. <laughs> Cabinet Secretary Jen Schroer and Tourism for her heavy lifting during the legislative session. <laughs> Game and Fish and Cabinet Secretary Lynn Trujillo from Indian Affairs and her tribal partners. Stephanie Garcia Richard, our land commissioner. <laughs> Thanks also go out to New Mexico Wildlife Federation and Trout Unlimited. First off, I would like to introduce Representative Angelica Rubio, who was instrumental in putting together the equity part of this legislation. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. I had no idea that I was going to get to speak because I've never done this before, so I am incredibly grateful. Um, my parents, who are uh, both immigrants from Mexico, I still can't really explain to them what's happening today. I just know that I just said, the governor is signing one of my things, and they were like, bueno, what's that? <laughs> um, this is really important to me, and um, I tend to get a little emotional, but um, this is a big issue for um, so many people, not only here in the state of New Mexico, but also throughout the, the country. Um, people have a hard time talking about equity. They have a hard time talking about race and the issues that we face here in the state of New Mexico. And, and I think it's a testament to our state, which I believe is still sort of facing this um, identity crisis. Um, but this is sort of that first step to really understand that we as a, this isn't just going to become a playground for tourism, but that it is going to become a place where our young people will become a steward for um, our, our environment, our public lands, and an issue to address public health, which is so, so critical. And while this issue will not solve all of it, um, I believe in, in the governor's vision that as we look at the root problems of so many of the things that are directly impacting our state, that the Outdoor Equity Fund specifically will help to address so many of those issues. And I want to thank all of the partners who were a part of all of this work because uh, without them and their vision and their, willing to, their willingness to do all that they needed to do to make sure that this legislation made it through was something that I will certainly never ever forget. So with that, thank you so much. Our next speaker um, was my
my bicycling partner um, when we uh, actually announced this legislation. And I say my partner because we were in the back together and the governor um, was going much faster than us. So, <laughs> Senator Jeff Steinborn, please. Good afternoon, everybody. Great to be with you. Um, yes, I thank you, Governor, first of all, for signing this bill and your incredible vision and leadership making this happen for our state. I just have to say my feelings were just a little hurt. She did not invite me to ride our, my bike with her from the, uh, the governor's mansion to the park today. And she looks great, right? But uh, I don't know. She might have ridden her bike. It's just a rumor. Can't confirm it. But you all may remember that the, moment, the morning we introduced this legislation, the governor led a bike ride from the governor's mansion. And it, she was very competitive. It was like I thought she was competing in the Pyrenees to win a stage of the Tour de France. Uh, the secretary and I had a hard time keeping up. The state police was there and kept us all safe. Um, but it is such an honor to be here on this very special day for the entire state of New Mexico. We have found, and I first of all want to start by thanking all the advocates who have worked on this with us, starting off with a uh, woman who's sitting out here, Madeline Carey. Madeline, raise your hand. I don't mean to embarrass you. Two years, ago, two years ago, Madeline approached me and said, you know, these other Western states are creating these outdoor offices and it's something that we should look at in the state. So we began that work, but it was really when um, Michelle Lujan Grisham started running for the governor's office that this really took off to the next level. And of course, we made it happen. But in so doing, as we've worked on this, we have seen people from all corners of the state Republican communities, Democrat communities, really beyond nonpartisanship, show a very high sense of enthusiasm for this effort because this is one of those areas that connects all of New Mexico. We are blessed with rich public lands, beautiful outdoor recreation opportunities all over the state. And this is an opportunity to really grow these jobs and, uh, and teach stewardship to the next generation of New Mexicans. So couldn't be more excited, excited for all of our partners and, and more than anything, very appreciative of this governor for her leadership doing this for our state. So thank you all so much. I'd now like to introduce another co-sponsor, Representative Nathan Small. Hey. Hi, everyone. Uh, I am so proud to be up here. My name is Nathan Small. Really proud to represent House District 36. Talked a little bit about the Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks. It's where my wonderful wife, Xochitl Torres Small, her family grew up taking her. Uh, I actually spent a lot of time, especially in younger years, in Mount Taylor, uh, outside of Grants, New Mexico, cutting wood with my grandfather, going fishing at Blue Water Lake, going hunting uh, on the mountain whenever we were fortunate enough to draw a tag. And uh, turkey season, of course, is coming up, so this kind of weather in these trees makes me think of that. Uh, that Governor, thank you for this leadership. Senator, uh, thank you for being uh, there. Angelica, Representative Johnson. You see just an incredible team here, the incredible secretaries, as the Senator said. It's something that brings everybody together. It's culture, heritage that stretch back uh, in some very profound uh, time immemorial ways. And it's something that we get to pass on to folks and in, in very profound ways as well. This is going to ensure that every single kid here in this state has the opportunity to go out and enjoy these places. And the, uh, the point of the outdoor recreation office and creating jobs is going to ensure, I think, so many New Mexicans have jobs connected to our wonderful natural space. So this is something that uh, touches all parts of culture, heritage, and in a very important way will provide for our economic future and increased economic opportunity moving forward. So uh, very proud to be here, thankful to be part of this team following this incredible leadership. Thank you all very much. And last but not least, um, what, uh, our last co-sponsor, Representative Wanda Johnson, who I will say, whenever you're in committee, I always look at her because she smiles at me and she makes me feel like it's all going to be okay. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, everyone. The entire time we were working on this bill, the thought that came to my mind is what we leave behind for our children 
is what we think of them and how we think of them. So I am so pleased. I, I thank everyone here. I thank my colleagues. I thank the wonderful governor. And thank you for including our Pueblos, our tribes, a seat at the table to help protect our indigenous lands, the land of enchantment. And so now we will include our children, our families to, to take adventures and to teach them how to take care of our sacred sites, such as the sacred Chaco Canyon. We have um, what we heard, the Blue Water Lakes, all of Northwestern New Mexico. And our bloodlines run deep, right along with our land of enchantment. So um, I'm so pleased and I look forward and um, I look forward to welcome you to, we're gonna have some activities and adventures in Northwest New Mexico <laughs> and we'll definitely invite you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm lucky to stand up here with um, three other cabinet secretaries who are women who I deal with a lot. And um, it's an amazing collaborative partnership which um, was spawned from a very close um, cabinet secretary retreat where we all have, we're in very close quarters with each other. And so we know each other all very, very well now. Um, so I'd like to start with um, cabinet secretary Sarah Cottrell Probst, please. afternoon. Welcome to Hyde Memorial State Park and thanks for joining us for this important recre uh, outdoor recreation initiative. I'm Sarah Cottrell Props, um, Cabinet Secretary of the Energy, Minerals, and Natural Resources Department, which houses New Mexico State Parks as well as the Youth Conservation Corps, um, which is administratively attached to our department. With me today, Christy Tofoya from State Park. Um, and I want to thank our friends group members who set up the, the treats and refreshments for everybody today. Um, Superintendent Randy Bates um, of, of Hyde Park and Alvaro Garcia, our ranger. Thank you, especially, of course, to our governor, Governor Lou Hungrisham, for signing this bill um, at our second oldest state park in the system. Um, this uh, beautiful mountain property was donated to New Mexico State Parks by the family of a, of a naturalist named Benjamin Hyde back in 1934. Um, outdoor recreation, as you know, has a really long history in our state, and the Civilian Conservation Corps constructed the incredible building behind you um, and some of the other facilities between 1936 and 1938 um, to include this historic lodge, um, and, and it's been a site for a lot of really important um, events in our community throughout the years. Because our parks are beautiful and because they highlight outdoor recreation, um, state parks are also a great backdrop for other industries and outdoor recreation you might not think of, like the film industry. Um, we, uh, you can get your, your film permit today, Beth, uh, I should say that. Um, but I, I've, I've signed a lot of them in the last three months, actually. You know? There's a lot of filming going on, a lot of students filming in our state parks. Um, so, so Hyde Park embodies the tenets of outdoor recreation um, in New Mexico with year-round activities and um, hiking, camping, picnicking in the summer and winter activities like sledding on the hill behind us and we have yurts you can stay in at Hyde Park um, overnight. Um, and as you can see behind you, Cottoms is here. Um, and this snowy winter has allowed them to stay longer and rent equipment um, for ski Santa Fe's last weekend. And, and it's just one of the many concessionaires that operate out of our state parks um, throughout the state. So with 34 state parks, five million visitors a year, um, we're excited to be a keystone uh, part of this, of this initiative and the outdoor recreation economy in New Mexico. Um, in addition to the outdoor recreation division, um, Senate Bill 462 also creates an outdoor equity grant program that the sponsors yeah. talk about. Yes. Of our, you know, works with our with our agency will administer um, some grants. So there will be competitive grants um, and uh, for outdoor recreation programs that engage um, disadvantaged youth and educate them about climate and the environment. So I will conclude by saying, on behalf of New Mexico State Parks, the Youth Conservation Corps, and the entire Energy, Minerals, and Natural Resources Department, we are really looking forward to be part of, part of this initiative. And thank you so much, Governor, for making it happen. The cabinet secretary who was up with everyone until one and two in the morning doing a lot of the heavy lifting on this and she will continue to be very active. Um, it is uh, cabinet secretary Jen Schroer from Tourism. Yeah. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Jen Schroer.
Meyer, Cabinet Secretary of Tourism. Excited to be here today. Um, I have the honor of inviting people to experience all that New Mexico has to offer. And our outdoor economy is something that really is just undeniable, is so exceptional compared to other states in our nation. Um, New Mexico has an enviable portfolio of public lands and outdoor recreation opportunities. New Mexico is the fifth largest state by land mass, and we are home to five national forests, 17 national parks and monuments, and 35 state parks. There are also 20 lakes, 25 wilderness areas within our boundaries, which is so exciting that I get to promote that and invite people to come here and experience that. Um, the New Mexico Tourism Department is proud and excited to work with other agencies in, the growing, New, in growing New Mexico's outdoor recreation business. Together, we will promote sustainable growth and stewardship practices. Together, we will create jobs for New Mexicans. And together, we will expand outdoor recreation to every corner of the state. The newly established Office of Outdoor Recreation will provide a platform for collaboration to support the growth of New Mexico's tourism ex uh, economy. And I'm so excited to work with my counterpart. So thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Governor, for your vision. And I look forward to working with everyone. Thank you. Outdoor recreation is one of the industry sectors that Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham identified very early on. It is no secret that as a biker, hiker, skier, and a lover of the outdoors, the governor knows the potential for outdoor business development and tourism. I thought we would beat her on the bike because she had a smaller bike. I thought I had the advantage, but we didn't. So introducing uh, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham. and being the last person to speak because clearly there's nearly nothing left to say. But this is what collaboration looks like. This is what good governing looks like. This is what partnering with New Mexicans looks like. And I want to just give a shout out to uh, our Republican Senator, Senator Neville, who was a co-sponsor, San Juan County, could not be here today. Partisan efforts, and while I don't want to take any of the thunder away from incredible Democratic leadership, getting these bills over the finish line means that we have to have bipartisan support, and we want that because what this is is our first step towards making sure that we have the most robust outdoor economic office uh, in the country. And uh, Representative Angelica Rubio whispered in my ear, Minnesota and California are using our legislation as model legislation to move forward in their own states. And what's incredible about that is we said New Mexico could, should, and would lead in any number of areas. And this is one of those areas. And the equity grant program is the only one like it in the country. Uh, and it assures that kids uh, way a long, long, long time ago, that's like a Star Wars thing, uh, <laughs> when I was a kid, uh, will all have the same rich experiences that I got, that every family honestly ought to just be able to take for granted that they can sled here. I can't tell you how many times as a kid I, I hiked up from Santa Fe. We did incredible uh, tubing and very dangerous sledding uh, and then uh, without helmets uh, and then would hike back into Santa Fe. This is where I learned to ski. This is where I learned to love geology. This is where we all hiked as a family. This is where we had any number of picnics right here. This was my playground. Uh, I learned to love to fish. I learned to love to camp. I learned to love to uh, horseback ride. Uh, I was exposed to any number of things to do and places to see in a state that I love because my family embraced an outdoor effort and an outdoor economy. And when we do that collectively, we know that it's billions of dollars in revenue, all right? So right now, we're just above about six billion. To put that in perspective, Colorado is just under um, 70 billion, all right? Well, Colorado, get out of our way because we're coming for you. Because the rocky start here, it's better here, right? 
right? And we're gonna promote those outdoor businesses. This is really where it's a sweet spot. So we've got our, our tribal partners and collaborators. We're clear that this is about building an outdoor economy. You heard unequivocally that this is about protecting New Mexicans' equal access and making sure that we're protecting an outdoor environment, that we protect that so that we're using it in responsible ways that promote this industry for generations to come. This is an incredible day, and let me just end with this. I don't need to, I don't think, sell a one of you on how great this is, but this is a way for me. They thanked me a million times. I just got out of their way. This is a group that was clear for two years while I was campaigning that this is an effort that would bring New Mexicans together. Uh, it is clear again today that bipartisan leadership in the New Mexico legislature all of the partners, Conservation Voters New Mexico, everyone, every single group that stood up for this effort meant that we weren't competing, we were uniting New Mexicans behind an effort that's really gonna make a difference. So, frankly, thank you to all of you. And the only reason I could bike faster is because, unfortunately, I'm heavier than the Secretary of Economic Development, but not for long, because I'm gonna compete with her on that, too. She's offered to run with me, and let's run in the outdoors somewhere. So thank you all so very much. How about if I make that, this new office, a law, shall we? So yeah, yeah.